Um, I mean, I just, I'm, I'm at a loss for words, honestly. Uh, I used to dream about days like this, you know, I was a little kid watching it on TV, and now that I'm here, it just, it's just a dream come true for her. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think Coach Leonard was the best defensive coordinator in college football, you know, um, and just being able to take away as much as I could from him, I learned and just be a sponge and soak up everything. Uh, it helped me a lot, for sure. What about your brother? I mean, he's, he's already doing it on the other side of the ball, but has he kind of helped, told you what to expect? Oh, 100%. Um, I don't think I'd be here without my brother, honestly. Um, he's like my backbone. Uh, that guy's got me got me here. Uh, he's He showed the light for me. He laid the blueprint, um, and I'm just trying to follow in his footsteps. What do you see the teams that might say you're too small to play off the edge of the time? Uh, dynamite comes in small packages. You're obviously an incredible pass rusher, but you're probably going to be some offense in time to yeah, um, that goes back to Coach Leonard. Uh, me and him worked on that a lot this offseason. Uh, we just wanted to focus on my backpedal dropper, breaking off quarterback intention, breaking off the eyes. Um, so Coach Leonard really helped me a lot with that this offseason. Like you played basketball in high school as well. Is yeah. that something that really helped you become maybe a better athlete, a better football player overall? Yeah, I honestly liked uh, playing basketball when I was a little kid. Um, we played basketball all the time. Obviously, we played football too, but I think I think it definitely translates. You know, the quickness, um, recovering, covering guys, um, and being aggressive, going after the ball, getting rebounds. Uh, so I think it translates a lot. Nick, do you feel confident you can make a move to the edge? I mean, a move to hot ball? Oh, 100%. I think whatever happens with my career, um, I know I'm going to attack it day by day, and I'm just going to keep on getting better. What advice would you give a high school student looking to get where you're at today? Um, hard, hard work will never betray you. And then when you were in high school, did you have a favorite cafeteria food? Oh, um, I mean, I, I went to high school in Hawaii, so my favorite was like a Spam musubi or Spam eggs and rice with Portuguese sausage. Like All my boys back home know what I'm talking about. So, I mean, I eat Spam eggs and rice every day. <laughs> what would make this week a, a, a success for you? Um, I think it already is a success, you know, just me being here. I'm um, enjoying every last second of this, you know, taking it all in. Um, you know, and I, I look at it as a blessing more than a stressing. Uh, and I'm just I'm just so thankful that I get to be here right now. Yeah, for sure. I think that was uh, one of the one of the first times I really went through a lot of adversity in my career. Um, you know, and it, it was kind of it didn't feel like it was supposed to happen that way. You know, we're coming off a, a pretty decent season the year before. I, I got voted captain, so I'm thinking like, man, this is about to be the year we're gonna we're gonna make a run at it, and just everything kind of hit the wall. You know, it kind of puts things in perspective that um, you know things don't always go the way that you plan or you want them to. Uh, so just learning that, you know, I have to take take it day by day, enjoy enjoy every last workout, every last game I get with my brothers. Um, enjoy every single practice because you never know when this game will be taken from you. You work against a lot of yeah, I think you just have to have a controlled aggression. You know, um, obviously I was, I, I, I hate losing more than I love winning. Um, so just uh, losing, you know, didn't sit right with me, but, you know, I had to learn to uh, harness that and uh, just use that as motivation to, to get myself to the next level. Obviously, the big team you run against a lot of talented offensive linemen. How do you think going up against those guys in transition? Yeah, I mean, I think I think it'll help me a lot. You know, um, everybody says I'm too small, but I feel like I played in the Big Ten. You know, I've went against big dudes uh, my whole career. You know, and I've put it on tape that I'm able to hang with the best of the best. Who was your toughest matchup? Uh, probably Dewan Jones, right tackle from Ohio State. Uh, obviously, I mean that guy's a monster. He's huge. Uh, he can move. Uh, he's very athletic. Nick, what, what did you get out of the workouts with your brother and Lane Johnson? And, I mean, how much did you learn during all this? I think the thing I learned the most was just perseverance and grit. You know, um, those guys don't stop, man. Like, and especially their whole linemen. So their their mentality is different. You know, and they they have to grind for it. Um, they're they're the guys that don't get a lot of love either. Um, so they kind of they kind of work out. If you see them work out, they work out with a chip on their shoulder. Um, and they and they work out hard, man. So just work seeing that. Um, and seeing where I was and how far I've come. 
uh, is, is is monumental. And just seeing that, I know I have so much work to do if I want to be on that level one day. Nick, Nick Nate's you're been through pretty much everything, but you know, your brother's been through a, a lot in the NFL, uh, the ups and downs. How much has that kind of shaped your, your outlook on the NFL and the business aspect? Um, you know, I, we know it's a business, you know, and things happen. Uh, and like I said earlier, things don't go always go the way that you want them to. Um, but I think at the end of the day, I just got to put my faith in God, you know, and I know he's going to guide me the right way um, and just control what I can control. What's something that you learned in the classroom that you take onto the field? Uh, I think um, just uh, listening to my uh, to my elders, you know, and listening to my mentors. Uh, obviously, listening to your teacher, um, doing your assignments, turning them in on time. Uh, not being late for class uh, and learning to cooperate with your peers as well because you know this is a business and you're, if you're not able to cooperate with your teammates your peers then uh, I don't think you'll last long so just learn how to be a good teammate how to be a good student uh, how to be a good friend have you met with the Steelers? Uh, yes uh, you're like a formal yeah uh, formal yes Nick you're a nuanced pass rusher who clearly has a diverse ways to win can you walk me through the first step yeah um, you know I'm always looking at uh, a key that can give me a little jump off the ball um, whether that's his knee his foot uh, his arm uh, once I get that you know I'm I'm always looking to go speed off the top because uh, I think that's my greatest attribute. Um, and, you know, as a pass rusher, I think you have to have a plan, but at the same time, you just have to be instinctive, you know, you have to react off what the offensive lineman gives you. You mentioned that, you know, Dynamite comes from the small package. The combine's all about measurables. How do you show those guys, I may not get on a scale and weigh a certain amount of pounds, but I'm big on uh, yeah, I think just showing them that I have a lot of heart, you know, and I, I play this game with a lot of heart. I feel I play this game the right way, um, and, you know, this this is who I am, and this is what I'm going to be for the rest of my life, um, and take it or leave it. Thanks,